Um, we're gonna just get on with this. So, uh, yeah. The moon, the full moon in Virgo is still, I feel that energy is still kind of like lingering. Lingers! Yeah, it feels like it's been kind of hitting heavy. Um, the, the whole energy of the full moon in Virgo is like reality check, right? And so let's see what this reality check is for you. So I feel like ultimately that's what it's been. Merkaba. Merkaba. Um, movement, long distance travel and excitement. Um, evens, mystery, reading between the lines, and intuition. So seeing a situation for what it is and walking away from it. That's what I'm seeing so far. Um, so, especially with that mystery, reading between the lines, intuition, archiva, movement, travel. Um, yeah, to me that looks like seeing something for what it is and walking away from it. Let's clarify even. Yep, making a decision. Two of wands. Two of wands typically in most decks, you'd see somebody with a compass looking at which direction they should go in. So. I'm going to put that right in the middle, actually. Um, so what's causing this uh, decision making? Why are you thinking why? <laughs> or why are you thinking where? <laughs> Nine of Swords with Nine of Pentacles at a crossroads between sitting there feeling stuck, feeling stuck in your head, feeling like um, this lack of motivation, feeling like a wounded warrior to this other side where you could feel more resourceful or adventurous where you can feel established on your own right with the page of pentacles in reverse it's telling me that there's something that you have to let go of though in order for that to happen but with the star card aquarius energy is this energy of like Being optimistic or seeing the light in the darkness, seeing seeing that this could take a better turn, right? And seeing that you're only one decision away from like from getting what you desire, right? We have the adjustment card in reverse. Things won't change unless you change them. Right? So, like, if you don't make adjustments to your life, you'll feel stuck in the same spot. You know? Like, uh, trapped, stuck in neutral. And I feel this energy of, like, daydreaming. Right, visualizing, wanting to do the things, but then taking like little to no action towards that. Um, it's like wanting to do something, but then not taking action towards it, or like, 
or focusing on the blockages or the barriers that get in the way between what you want to do and what you should do, you know, it's like, it's almost like, with the two of swords in reverse, you could be feeling vulnerable, right? And sometimes making big leaps, especially if this is because with the Nine of Pentacles, if this is something like starting a new business or like, you know, something large like that, it feels like you could be feeling a little bit like, like once you take one big leap in that direction, then you're, you like hesitate and you're like, oh fuck, like this is sink or swim, you know? And I feel this energy of like feeling kind of vulnerable or like afraid, uh, but also with the star card, knowing that it's part of your destiny. It's just building up the courage to, to like really invest in that way or like to really make a move in that direction. Page of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords in reverse. Tells me that you could be having like a change of heart towards somebody. Um. It, you could be like losing interest in somebody. Because there's just too much, like, pain or, like, I don't know. It's, like, not being able to, like, really get over something that happened in the past. Or, like, after something happened in the past, it's, like, you started seeing somebody differently. And, and like, being unable to, like, get that, that image of them back that, the way that you saw them before that, you know? We have Lust, Seven of Cups in Reverse. It literally says debauch on this card, though, at the bottom, which tells me, like, there could have been debauchery. There could have been, you know, some cheating or whatever. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, tells me that, like, you, you loved them, right? You invested in them. You felt like they were the one. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Um, with the Hermit in reverse, this is somebody who pulled you out of your shell. The Ace of Swords, like somebody that you felt you wanted a beginning with. Somebody that, that really inspired you to take action in certain ways, right? Also... This could have inspired revenge, right? Doing the same thing in, in return. Um, yeah, Nine of Wands sideways, right? Um, and the way I'm reading the sideways here is like both y'all got hurt. Both y'all like kind of were at fault in their own ways. But like uh, it's kind of like saying it was a two-way road. Two-way street. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, letting go of them, at least emotionally, just kind of like letting go. Could have been a Virgo, or you could be a Virgo. Um, 
Just saying that with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Hermit Virgo energy. Hella. Um, yeah, Three of Wands in reverse. Third party situationships. Or it could have been also like somebody who was constantly like looking for the next best thing. Somebody who was never really like satisfied enough to be like this is my person. It's like always... Always kind of like with a wandering eye, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, the Empress in reverse with Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm feeling this energy that I like. It took you out of your element. Something you discovered here with the Six of Swords, the science card, right? Something was discovered here that caused you to walk away from it. Um, Six of Cups, this could have been somebody that uh, could be somebody you have a kid with or somebody that you've known since like childhood or somebody that you have a lot of memories with, you know? Whatever the case is, though, it's like there's an established history here, so walking away isn't easy. But I feel like when it's necessary, the door flings open for you, right? When it's time to go, you know. Yeah, Three of Cups in reverse with the Five of Wands. It's like you don't even enjoy this connection anymore. It's like there's, it's not fun anymore. With the Five of Wands, it's like there's just conflict and fighting and, and power struggles and just bullshit, right? It's like it's not even something that you can enjoy. It just feels like you're being punished every day. try to love bomb you right with the eight of pentacles in reverse but it, it tells me that it doesn't work like eventually you get to a point where you're so fed up that you're just like dude i'm fine without you i literally don't need you <laughs> um yeah two of pentacles in reverse making up your mind this is like being very solid in your decision when you make your decision it's like having an unchanging opinion, you know, or an unchanging, um, having made an unchanging decision, right? Set in stone is what I'm hearing. Um, then the sun came out in reverse, but there's no reverse meaning for the sun card. So this is actually kind of beautiful. It's Leo energy. This tells me that inevitably things will be getting better for you. Even if divine intervention has to happen in order to remove this person from your life, it will bring a lot of happiness and joy into your life, a lot of abundance and resourcefulness. You're not going to, you're not going to miss it like you might think you will. Um, Ten of Swords. This person already has you feeling drained and defeated and it's almost like when this person isn't there it's going to make you feel free and liberated you're gonna feel like you can get shit done like you won't feel limited anymore yeah seven of swords yeah this person did all the lying the cheating the stealing the, it's like this person really put you through the ringer here. And it's, and it's just shady ass energy. And it's like, as soon as this person's gone, that shady ass energy is like no longer there to torture you. Right? And I see 999 too. You have nine of wands, nine of swords, and nine of pentacles. So, 
nines are all about mastery and coming to the end or the conclusion of a uh, cycle, right? You're about to enter into a new cycle. You're about to walk away from this one for good. If you haven't already, yeah. The full card, I love this. The full card is ground zero, right? The full card represents the first step in a new cycle. The full card represents taking a leap of faith and doing the scary thing, right? Because it's the scary thing that you're going to benefit the most from. It's the scary thing that is going to really help you grow and and develop and and really give you that sense of feeling that um success fulfillment that oneness that liberation dude you're gonna be feeling so well without them that i i don't think you're gonna want them back in i don't think it's gonna happen <laughs> i think you're gonna be done done <laughs> Matongi. She's a tantric queen of outcasts, unveiling the hidden inner power to thrive outside of conventional society. If you have been denied love and respect, she brings healing and empowerment. If you have suffered rejection, abandonment, or have been labeled as unworthy in any way, she brings dignity and repair. She clears the way for a creative, joyful, and vibrant life path. Lalita Tripura Sundari. A chapter in your life is closing and will not be reopened. Told you. This will be a reason for celebration. Whatever you need to release right now shall create the space for what is divinely destined for you to manifest through her grace. You shall enjoy a change of pace and release from intensity. Open your heart to the beginning of a golden era. And yes, this is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Namaste. I love you guys and I'll catch you later.